Before we get started with your reading, if you could please like this video, subscribe to my channel. If you would like a personal reading, all that information can be found in the description below. You can send me a regular email or you can send me a message on Instagram. You can also find me on TikTok now doing weekly readings. And I would like to thank everybody for all the donations, the comments, the likes, and all the personal emails you've been sending me. I really appreciate it, you guys. Thank you very much. All right, Taurus, let's get into your reading. What do we have for Taurus at the foundation, please? Six of Wands at the foundation. All right, it's the Leo energy. Three of Swords, Libra energy at the Sacral. What do we have at the Solar Plexus? Ten of Cups, Pisces energy. What do we have at the heart position? There's something coming in, Taurus. There's something coming in, okay? But it's been after some gnarly cycle that you guys have ended, okay? What do we have at the heart position? The Fool, Aries Energy. Right. It's like you guys did everything you're supposed to do. And you guys are still doing everything you're supposed to do. And what I mean by that is you're co-creating with the divine. It's like all your steps are divinely ordered. Okay. It's like you followed the divine. You've held God's hand. And they've led you to this pure happiness and bliss in your life. Right. It's And the way that shows up is just you really doing what you love to do with your life now. Right. And it's like you're seeing how anything is possible inside this energy and it's all because you've left this heartbreak of the past behind right two of pentacles capricorn energy at the throat it's like you made the choice right to stop entertaining these energies. You made the choice to actually stand up for yourself, stand in your power and move forward and trust in the divine. And you took this leap of faith, the full energy, right? With the divine and it freaking worked. Seven of Wands at the third eye. And it's like all these energies now are just showing their hands. They're just showing you who they were all along because none of them, not a single one of them is happy for you, Taurus. Okay. And if there are any people that are genuinely happy for you, make those people your best friends. Okay. It just comes down to that because people who are going to be genuinely happy for you, when you yourself are genuinely happy in your life, those are the people that deserve to be in your life. Okay. Not the people who are always questioning questioning something you're doing, questioning your happiness, right? Because it doesn't align with who they think you should be, right? Crown position. Six of cups at the crown, right? It doesn't align with who they think you should be. They have this preconceived notion of, or this preconceived idea of who you should be in your life. Six of Cups, Scorpio energy. So this is a very, uh, it's a very nostalgic energy, right? So it's like these people are just stuck inside some, they're just, they have a small mind. They're very narrow-minded people who have this idea of how you should be living your life, okay? And they're just stuck in that way. And that's it. You know, they don't want to see growth. They don't want to actually go out and make their lives better for themselves too. They just want to stay stuck and they want you to stay stuck with them. Six of Wands, Murmur, right underneath that Six of Wands. I mean, look. Out of all those cards, I got Six of Wands stacked with the Six of Wands, okay? So this is just... See, I'm reading the Six of Wands here as like Six of Wands in reverse because it's from this Occult Tarot deck. And I like to read these as reversal sometimes. So this is like you giving up and like lacking confidence in this energy that, you, that you're leaving behind. It's like you've expressed that to, to them. You're like, look... 
There's no growth here. I'm not staying here. What don't you get? I'm not confident in this relationship anymore. I have been stuck this entire time, and the steps that I have taken so far to step away from you have been my greatest steps ever, and I've had more growth in this short amount of time than I've had in my entire life around you. What does that say? Right? What do we have at the sacral? Nine of Swords. Luray, I feel like he's come out a couple times today. So this is this anxiety, grief, and depression, right? Gemini energy. This is where they wanted to keep you stuck. Causes great battles and wars. Causes wounds to putrefy. You've actually told them this now. You're like, look, I see you for who you are. I see what you tried to do to me. And I'm just leaving, okay? That's it. And I feel like this energy here is just like, kind of like, no. No, I'm, I'm. No, I don't agree. You're not leaving. It's this sort of energy where you're like, yeah, I am. They're just so delusional. And it's like they think they own you or something. They think they own you. What do we have at the solar plexus? I just saw Moloch. So that's the, that's the devil card. But it's also... Um, the card of child sacrifice. This could have been one of your parents. Maybe they like written a Satanism when you were before you were born, and they sacrificed your your gifts, or they tried to sacrifice your purpose to Moloch, right? And now that you're stepping into your purpose, it's like Moloch is coming for that ass, right? They're like, well, Moloch's like, you know, whoever you are, your child, they're stepping into their power now. There's nothing you can do about it. So I'm gonna take. Uh, I'm going to take this out of your ass, okay? Justice. Astaroth, right? So, with this Justice card, so this is this, um... It's just this very, very dishonest energy that's kept you stuck for a very long, long time, okay? And now it's like they just... Even though there's been illumination, you see them for who they truly are. You see them for the demon, who they truly are, and everything they've been doing in the dark. Everything they've been doing behind your back. Just everything they've done to sabotage your life and systematically keep you held back. Even though it's all out on the table, they still think they have some sort of power over you. It's just a really delusional energy. But it really goes to show that they're polarized in this very demonic, negative sort of um, way of thinking. Like they can't actually break out of that way of thinking. They actually can't process the fact that you're, you're up-leveling. Knight of Wands. So with this Knight of Wands energy, this is this very chaotic person, right? This is them. It's like here you are, fool's journey, right? And here they are like, ugh. And now they're going to try and start bringing more chaos into your life. So, Taurus, just make sure you cross your T's and dot your I's. And you're just doing what you need to to protect yourself right now. Because I feel like this energy is just not going to go away. And there's Moloch, right? Makes one worse off than ever before. Tricks mortals into being bound. Accepts child sacrifice. Like I said before, right? It's like they sacrificed you when you were younger before you even knew any better. And now it's like you're breaking free of that. They're like, oh crap. And now Moloch is coming for their ass. Look, it even looks like he's like, oh. Uh-oh. Well, Moloch, just give me a little more time. And Moloch's like, no, I want, I want that ass now. And he's like, please, Moloch, I just need a little more time. I'll, I'll get the chosen one back. Right? Okay, what do we have at the third eye position? run of sag energy a so eight of wands right so with this eight of wands and with this eight of wands energy this is all related to these delays right it's a very frustrating energy and i feel like this is what this energy is trying to bring back into your life to actually slow you down from getting on your path now right so here they're like just picking their nose right Teaches rhetoric very well, gives faithful servants, favor of friends and foes, and knowledge of languages. So it's an energy now that they see you up leveling and doing all this. So it's like they're going back to the drawing board in a sense, right? They're like, hmm, 
what spell work can I come up with now to get the chosen one to come back? Right? So, no matter what they do, Taurus, no matter what, no matter what they try and give you, Taurus, no amount of money, no amount of money should make you want to go back to this. Okay? Because all you're doing is literally selling your soul. Think about that. Okay? You were trapped in a lower demonic energetic prison. You've escaped. Do not go back for anything. Not a damn thing. Okay? Because the thing is, as soon as you go back, you'll lose it all anyway. What do we have with the crown to close this out for Taurus? You've come too far, Taurus. Don't allow this energy to pull you back. And I know you guys won't. I don't think there's a single one of you out there that will. You guys are probably just laughing, but just know that this is in the energy. Okay, so just just watch your back a little bit. Okay, so Two of Swords, Libra energy. And with this Two of Swords energy, this is all about you making the decision to move on and stay gone, right? And see her face just really speaks in volumes like, what have I endured? My God. I'm so grateful to be away from that, right? Breaking the cycle. Lifts opposing barrier. Brings victory. Boom. All right, Taurus, I'm going to leave it there. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like a personal reading. All that information can be found in the description below. And thank you for your donations, you guys. I really appreciate it. Take care.